Coach Greeny, we're down to the last two Pac-12 matches, and thank goodness they're in Bowler Gym. You haven't played USC yet this year. What does that present to you in the way of a challenge for your team Wednesday night? Yeah, it's always interesting this time of year when we, you know, take on that team that we haven't played. Um, I think it's good. You know, I think um, our team prepares well uh, for teams, especially that they haven't seen. Um, you know, it's nice because at the end of the season we have a lot of film um, that we can scout off of. They, of course, have the same for us. Um, you know, so it's always just a little bit different when you're playing a team for the first time at this time of the year, but I think it's a good thing. Then you've got two days before you take on cross-state rival Washington, who's also playing for a conference championship. But the Cougars are playing for something very special this year, too. Talk a little bit about how you're approaching these two matches. Yeah, you know, it's the end of the year. Um, it's crunch time, um, treating it a little bit like a playoff situation. Um, you know, we we certainly don't want to leave anything, um, you know, in the hands of a committee. Um, it would be nice to secure um, a couple of wins this week and, and uh, punch our ticket to the NCAA tournament. But we're just concentrating on, uh, you know, one match at a time, uh, take USC just one set at a time and, and see where we can go from there. Where do you think our strengths lie right now on this team? Yeah, I would say blocking, uh, still leading the country in blocks per set, um, limiting opponent hitting percentage, of course. Um, but, you know, it'll it'll come down to serve and pass, um, which it always does. And then if we can get our offense going, that would um, also be a good thing for us. Is that tough with a short turnaround? You played Sunday in Boulder, Colorado, and then it was a quite a long trip to get home. You've really only got a day or so of preparation before you play again. Yeah, you know, I think this time of the season, that's what everyone is doing. Um, at least we're at home. Um, you know, USC kind of it was in the same situation. They have to travel as well. So at this time of year, um, we're trying to kind of shorten practices anyways, do a lot of film work, things like that. So, um, you know, I don't think the short turnaround is too terrible. You and Washington State has had a long I guess, tradition of really good battles with USC. Uh, when they were ranked number one in the country, we knocked them off. When they were number four, we knocked them off. Always good in, in Bowler Gym. Do you think that will happen again this year? Um, well, you, you never know. You know everyone in this conference um, is really good, and USC, of course, every single year is good. Um, and they're playing kind of for the same thing that we're playing for. So, um, you know, I th think it'll be a good battle. Um, hopefully we can get a lot of, um, you know, the local people that are still here in town, um, you know, bring families, things like that, into Bowler Gym Wednesday night, and we can create a great atmosphere. Saturday at 2 o'clock, play University of Washington, ranked 7th this week. That senior day, is that a double-edged sword for the Cougars? Yeah, um, you know, it seems like we every time we play at home, um, it's usually against the Huskies on senior day, and and um, it's always big to play your cross-state rivals, and especially for this group of seniors, it'll be a great, um, you know, last home match of the regular season in Bowler Gym. And, um, yeah, I think um, it'll be okay as far as emotions go. Um, they're just really looking forward to getting on the court and playing the match. All right. Good luck to the Cougars this weekend in Bowler Gym. Great, thanks.